This time the Quick Speed Shop. Check it out. We're building stuff. I'm putting a new jack, a D ring, and a receiver mount for a winch here in my trailer. It's all custom fabricated. I'm going to show you how I did it starting right now. All right, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. I'm back at it. Today I'm fixing my trailer. As you can see here, I've got a trailer jack. Well, what's going on? I've already got a trailer jack. Well, here's the problem. Yeah, let me get this thing out of the way. My old trailer jack is uh, junk. It was well, it's seized right up now, but it was uh, getting stiff, and I had a bunch of weight on the trailer one time, and I put the jack down, and it stripped out the gears, so it is uh, no longer functional. So I've been picking the jack up or the trailer up with a floor jack, and I got it on jack stands. It was a real pain. So I went down to the tractor plate, the trailer place today, around the corner. I bought a new 10,000 pound jack. Bam, this thing's crazy. So I need to mount this up here. So I'm going to move it ahead a little bit because what I'm doing is I'm leaving the old jack tube in place and I'm going to take this receiver tube here and I'm going to weld from here to there. And this is going to be my new winch mount. I use, a, I've got a 9,000 pound Badlands winch, which I bought from Harbor Freight. I did a video on that. You can check that out from a couple years ago but it, it goes in the receiver tube and I've had it mounted on the front of the trailer there, but it, which works good except when you're pulling a car out of the trailer, you have to stop and take the winch off because when you roll the front of the vehicle all the way up, it would run into the winch. So I'm gonna move the winch back here so I can put it up over the toolbox where it'll be out of the way. And I'm gonna take the guts out of this old tube and use that to mount the mount and it'll tie this in here and I'll, I might even put a, a, a gusset from the front of the trailer up into here and all that. But I want to get this new, this new fancy 10,000 pound jack on here. This one's probably only rated for like five or six thousand pounds. This one's a lot beefier, and it wasn't cheap. It was like 230 bucks. Everything is horrendously expensive now. But what are you gonna do? So I got this laid out in here. I've taken a piece of probably one and a half by three or something like that channel, like the trailer's built out of bigger channel. And I cut it to slip in here to weld into the inside of the tongue, and then that will weld to the front here. Um, I got to get a square out. Oh, let's get this out of the way. Yeah. So I can use a framing square, I think, off the front of this and line up and touch this up to get the square in the, in the frame. I've already measured back from this member here to equal distant numbers, so I can uh, line that up to get this part square and true and so I'll tack this in place and then I'll take the guts out of this and we'll get the jack set up and get it tacked in place I don't know I guess you can weld on it with the parts inside it but you should probably disassemble it I would imagine take the guts out so I, I'm gonna see if I gotta do that the first thing I take this one out it uh it should if I just take the handle off this should come apart and drop the guts out of it while I'm unbolting this, I'm going to drop in a clip of how I got this trailer over here. You're going to see Project Rusty Drunk YG, the Jeep I built on the channel a little while ago. And I use my front hitch and make it really slick to get this trail over here. So go ahead and uh, watch that while I'm taking this apart. That's one way to move your trailer around. I made this cheap little drop hitch uh, a while ago when I wanted to put, move trailers around with the, the Rusty Junk YJ here, and it worked good there. I've never pushed a truck or a trailer around with a front hitch, but it works great. You can see what you're doing, you can maneuver. You just gotta think the steer the opposite way of when you're backing it up, like normal, but that worked out good. And now I can set this up on the jack stands and we'll get the trailer, trailer jack welded up on here. Oop, it's dropping already. Boom. Look at that. There we go. 
Oh, nuts. The only problem is the trailer is not high enough to get that out of there. Oh, oh wait a minute. I got a wood block under it. Let's try it again. Still not tall enough to get that out of there. Son of a gun. Well, anyways, got that out of there. I'll jack it up later and, and all that. So let me get my framing square out. I'm going to lay it across here and here. And that'll, that'll line this up. We'll get this tacked in place. i got to get the welder dragged out here close. Get this piece tacked. And then we'll uh, fit the jack in here. The new jack and square that up. Okay, I got the welder out. And I went and I tacked the piece just in place. So I can verify my dimensions real quick. There. Sure I'm square. Yep. Now... To get my vertical line, I'm going to take this framing square and go like this. That's like right on the money. So that's good. I'm just going to tack this in a couple places. Think about this. Can I still get in there to weld with the sun? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to tack it a couple more places real fast. Wheel pattern sticker. Now, put the jack back in here and we'll just double check our action. <clears throat> Trailer's running downhill, so everything's kind of kind of crooked here, but I'll weld her up that looks like that. Yeah, this is uh, it's nice and true to that. So what I need to do is, uh, where's the bottom? Perfect. So the bottom of the, the gray tube on the jack is right in line with the bottom of this piece I just welded in there, so that's good. Um, I think it will be, let me double check this. It's going to weld onto there. It hangs over there. That's good. Where are all these leaves coming from? So that'll work out good. Now you can see what it's going to look like like that. So uh, I think I'm going to burn this piece in here uh, all the way since it, everything seems to be lining up good. And then uh, I'll see if I can disassemble the guts out of this guy. Okay, I got the... Uh the jack tube tacked on here. I fully welded my uh, piece back in here all the way around. I had to get a light out because it was it's super dark, hard to see when you're welding outside in the sun. I give credit to guys that burn every day out in the sun. It's hard to see out here in the brightness. But I got that on there. It's I think it's true. Uh, one of these jack, I, this jack I think is just a little bit crooked. Uh, when they welded this trailer together, because I got this one trued up good to both the side rails. And it is the other one's off just a hair in the back. It's leaning over a little bit, but that's fine. It's not going to matter for what we're doing. So I've got this tacked on here. This is the inside of the jack. You can see there's a, there's a plate that the threads go through. And there's very, very little grease on this. And then they got this odd bearing that's barely greased that just kind of floats on here. So I'm going to grease the crap out of this when I put it back together. I'm going to grease all these threads. I'm going to pack this bearing right full of grease. And then I'm going to grease this whole slider tube. Because uh, that seems like a good way to get tons of corrosion in there with barely any grease on anything. I'm going to take my receiver tube. And that is going to weld on here like this. And I'll, I'll put a square on this. And I'll, I'll go down. i got to cut about an inch off the top of this one. But we'll square this up and then this will weld on like that and that'll be the hitch mount for the for the winch and then i think i'm going to probably take a piece of tubing and go like this from i can put like probably a piece of one inch heavy wall square tubing inside this hitch here and come up at an angle like this and weld on up on here so that way when you're pulling with a winch it'll transfer the weight or transfer the load right through the tongue up and over and make like a 
you know, like a fulcrum where it can't just lever arm these two jacks over. If they're just sticking straight up, they'll tie that right together good. So I think that'll make it super strong. Okay, I got the top tube tacked on here now. It's going to work out perfect. And I was going to put some triangle gussets in here. I thought I had 90 degree gussets so I could like weld in here. But these are like 30, 60, or uh, 30, 30, 120 or whatever they are gussets. I got them out of the scrap bin. So I thought about welding them up on like this. Make a little gusset like that. That would help overlay stuff. But I might end up making a whole member to come right across the thing to tie it in here all the way down and make like a good triangle out of the whole thing all the way down there because these are both pretty much like sheet metal pretty thin tubes and this is heavier obviously because it's a receiver hitch but it's going to have a lot of a lot of torquing on it a lot of force pulling on a winch so i definitely want to tie it in to some kind of angle so i think i'm gonna take some like one by half channel i got and all the way down to the tongue here then i can weld it here weld it here and weld it there and make a really strong triangle out of the whole thing. fabbing up the braces like I said for the here this is like half by you know what it is Let's take a measurement can't see uh, it's like half by one and a half uh, channel it's like three sixteenths so I bolted that into the upper the last upper hole of the hitch here and it's gonna weld to this and weld to this and this will make it perfect Thing. So when the hitch, you know, when the winch is pulling, it's going to transfer all the load through this whole member. It won't want to kirk and rack this thing. It'll use, make like a big triangle. So that'd be super awesome. I think I'm going to take two more pieces of this, and I'm going to make a uh, a piece like this that will weld on the front here and weld on here to the trailer frame to triangulate it this way. Because now you got the stock up here. Um, if you're pulling at an angle off the back of the trailer, you might want to rack this thing one way or the other. So I'll just go ahead and uh, weld up two more like that to triangle it and triangle it. But this thing will be super, super beefy and plenty to put the uh, put the winch on. I'm also going to take a D-ring um, D ring uh, shackle tie down and weld one up here just so I get another strapping point. If I get something long, I'll be able to strap to the top of that. But this is coming out super cool and it's going to be real beefy. So I'll burn this on and then... Uh, I'll take the clamps off and take a look at it, and hopefully then I can jack this up, and we'll reassemble the jack and uh, see how it works, and I'll get the winch and Kirk put it in there, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, here we go. I threw some primer up on here, and man, it really got cold out. It's dropped like 20 degrees. I got the I jacked it up. I got the foot installed. I've gone down a couple notches. I pulled the old foot out. So I got my D-ring welded on here. It's a 4,000 uh, pound D-ring which is about what I got on here, but this would be good for an extra attachment point if I ever need. So I went and I greased the, the works all up. Here I put a little fluid film down on the bottom. Let's try it out. Man, this thing works like butter. Up oh, the trailer's up off the jack stands. That's awesome. That works great. That works great. And this thing's rated for 10,000 pounds, which this tra trailer's rated for uh, gross weight. So that, that's perfect. It's heavier duty than the one that was in here. Man, this is awesome. One last thing to try was put the uh, the, uh, hit, the uh, winch in here. Look at that. Bam. then when you get on the truck you pull your little pin down here where is it it's got a pin and a chain so you don't lose it go ahead and slide your foot all the way up
Look at that. Rides up out of the way just fine. It's got a really wide foot that'll be really good for pressing down on the on the grounds, on stones or dirt or whatever. Usually I put a piece of wood under it anyways, but it's got a nice wide foot, wider than what I had before. So uh, let's get the winch out. Look at that. Bam. Pin here. Here we go. Perfect. Man, look at that. Now, I can set my battery up. I can winch right out over the center of the trailer. It's up out of the way. I uh, probably can get in here a little bit, but now I can bring a car all the way up to the to here, or a big truck, because before the winch would be back here, and I'd have to get up on there and take it out. But I can uh, have that ride right like that. Actually, I can, when I go to pick stuff up, I can just leave it right here, right up here like this. The roller fair lead on here so I can spool the cable right out over the trailer. Hopefully it won't get caught up on this. I can always cut this off and fix the tube if I have to if it's in the way, but it should travel right out over that out and where it's got to go. Mint! So there we go, a custom fabrication video today at the Quick Speed Shop. Fixing, putting a 10,000 pound trailer jack on my trailer and making a new mount for my receiver mount Badlands winch. It's awesome. I'm really happy the way it came out. I'll just wait for this primer to dry and I'll hit it with some satin black here to match the trailer. Spray some more fluid film on my foot and then this thing will be ready for towing this season. Ready for action. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here. Building cool stuff at the Quick Speed Shop.